chapter 14, assignment one is using solubility rules. The goal of this lesson is to identify if a substance is soluble or insoluble. Is the substance soluble or insoluble? And what you're going to use are a set of solubility rules that are located on the back of your periodic table in this section right here. You will be given the rules for your test. So when you're analyzing these solubility rules, you want to base it on the anion of a compound. Remember that ionic compounds are made up of a cation and an anion. The anion always comes second, and you want to base your rules on the anion. So I'll do a couple of examples for you. The first example will be calcium phosphate. Okay, identify if calcium phosphate would be considered soluble or insoluble. So the anion is phosphate. So you'll look at your solubility rules and rule number six says phosphates are insoluble. So we're going to choose insoluble for this one. They do have some exceptions though, so let's check and see. Except with group one and ammonium. So if calcium is in group one, then it's going to be an exception and that'll make it soluble instead. And if you look, calcium is actually in group two, which means calcium is not an exception. So this substance is indeed insoluble. Insoluble. Okay, another example, ammonium sulfide. Ammonium sulfide. Your anion is sulfide. So you'll look for the solubility rule about sulfides. That's going to be number seven. Sulfides are insoluble. So you would choose this to be insoluble, but let's check the exceptions. Except with group one, two, and ammonium. Because it has a cation of ammonium, that's going to make it an exception. It'll be the opposite. Instead of insoluble, we're going to go ahead and label it soluble. Remember that soluble means able to be dissolved, and insoluble means it is unable to be dissolved. 